You know, as the community of Uvalde prepares to lay another student to rest today, a survivor of that same shooting will address a House panel on gun violence. Our Suzanne Bruner is live with us this morning. Suzanne, this 11 year old story is heartbreaking and very eye opening as well. Gosh, it really is, Cleo. Mia Cerillo, uh, she's going to have to share her story with Congress today and recount the moment she had to play dead to survive. This right here is new video that shows her holding on to a blank as she walks through the airport to board a flight to Washington. She and her classmates were watching the movie Lilo and Stitch when the gunman came into that school. She suffered fragment wounds, but she and a friend managed to get a teacher's cell phone and call for help. Not only will Mia be in Washington today, but victims, families, and survivors of the Uvalde and Buffalo mass shootings are there for multiple hearings to call on Congress to act on gun reform. Many have been talking about this online this morning. You see here actor and Uvalde native Matthew McConaughey attended a White House press briefing where he gave an impassioned 22 minute speech. Take a listen. Can both sides rise above? Can both sides see beyond the political problem at hand and admit that we have a life preservation problem on our hands? So we got a chance right now to reach for and to grasp a higher ground above our political affiliations. A chance to make a choice that does more than protect your party. From Washington to Texas here at Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD, you could see here leaders across the state holding town halls to address gun control. I have a 19 year old son. You know, he's not allowed to go buy a pack of Marlboros, a Coors Light, but he can go buy an AR-15. That makes no sense to me. You know, after 9-11, it's not like we banned certain types of planes. We made our airport safer. We made our planes safer. Governor Abbott has sent multiple letters to top lawmakers and the heads of several agencies calling for random, unannounced spot checks on door locks on Texas campuses. He's ordering more active shooter training, asking that more districts encourage more educators to carry guns, and forming committees to examine police training, mental health, and the role of social media. Now, as national talks continue, we do know that a group of bipartisan uh, senators, they're coming together to aim to have this compromise on having a set of proposals ready by the end of the week. We'll keep you updated on what happens out of Washington. Guys, back to you. Yeah, we'll see if anybody can get anything done. Thank mm -hmm. you, Suzanne. Both Tarrant and Dallas County leaders have discussed putting pressure on Texas Governor Greg Abbott to call a special legislative session on this issue of gun control. Dallas County commissioners voted in favor of it yesterday. Our partners at the Fort Worth Star Telegram say that Tarrant County Commissioners will consider a special session resolution at their meeting next week.